All right, so here we go. We have Bitcoin here on the one hour. Uh, we're going to go over the chart layout real quick so you know what I'm looking at. And then we'll go over the uh, TA. Talk about what's going to happen next. So here we have the moving averages. Yellow being your 21. Red being your 50. Blue being your 100. And purple being your 200. Uh, here to your right, you have the VPVR, which measures horizontal volume at a certain price level. Basically how your volume is vertical, this volume is horizontal. Then you have your momentum oscillators, one being your RSI, one being your MACD. Then you have your volatility measurement, which is uh, stated by the BBWP. All right, so <clears throat> looks like we did have a multi-crossover of the moving averages and a breakout. Now the question is, is where do we get a retest if we get one? Um, you know, can we come down to the 50 at about 17,100 and, uh, you know, about 17,100 region? Uh, or are we held up by the 21? Those are the questions. And, you know, we're waiting for the retest and resumption up above this last high. So no matter where it retests, we need to get above this last high at... Basically 17,350. So that's the level we're watching right now. I would even like to see us get above 17,400. I'm going to go ahead and move this up a bit to 17,400. Okay. And if we can break out of that, 18K is the next stop. Um, pretty short update today, but uh, we're going to go over what uh, the bullish and bearish cases are. So here on your oscillators, momentum oscillators, you did get deep into the bearish bullish control zone. You did have some resistance basically at this last high. Uh, so we got no bearish divergence. Okay, no divergences to be aware of. MACD looks like you're going to get a test, at least a test, if not a cross, maybe a cross down to here, basically this last high. That would coincide with our retest and resumption. So we'd need to get back above this last high on the MACD. So watch for that. Um, we are very above the uh, zero line. I mean, you need to get all the way to 16,301 in order to cross that zero line. If that happens, shit's going to get really bad. Because, I mean, that means we're already breaking down. Uh, you know, 16,300 is right here basically at the middle of this range bbwp has crossed its moving average to the downside but i would expect the volatility to continue as soon as it crosses that moving average to the upside once again so if we start heading down you know that's going to increase that volatility especially if we go up all right so first you want to watch your bbwp then you want to watch your momentum oscillators after the price action you want to watch the price action second all right and see where we are uh you know according to the highs and lows basically if we break 17k i would expect us to come down to 16 uh 800 for a small bounce another bounce at 16 700 but ultimately i think we'd go back down to the bottom of the range we are at an inflection point the level has moved up since we broke out. 17K would uh, validate a bull trap. Um, so like I said, we could come down and test the 50 at 17,100. Possibly even a wick lower. Um, or come down to the 21 and get held up by that. Now your moving averages have made a multi-crossover. And a fan out confirmation. As you were in the bullish control zone. As your MACD had a positive slope. And your BBWP was above its moving average. As you know, that is one of my signals. If you have not seen the video, Trade Breakdown, go back and watch that video. It will explain how I uh, run through this signal and what's a pure signal and what ain't. All right, so bearish case, once again, is that you break 17K. I would expect small bounces, ebbs, and flows, but ultimately I would say this is a bull trap. And we go back down to the bottom of the range. Bullish case is that we break the last high at 17,350. I would even like to see 17,400. That would mean we're probably going to 18K, mid 18K, 
you know, so maybe 18,300, 18,500. We'll come back to it if we do break out. Let's move to the four hour real quick. Okay, bear, bullish control zone. Uh, let's see here. We do have a hint of bearish divergence. So if this is a confirmed uh, high, we could uh, come down a little further, you know, possibly to 17, 17 something, uh, you know, maybe uh, 1760, come down to that 21. Uh, your MACD is getting a fresh cross to the upside on the current tick, positive momentum is starting to rise not really anything to be uh excited about but the bbwp has crossed its moving average to the upside we are out of the 10 percentile and the moving average has a positive slope so the move we've been talking about is here all right now the question is is do we get a pullback first and then a resumption you know one more liquidity grab into this range take out people stops and then resume up you know, or let's see what a pullback to, let's see what this bearish divergence would play out to. Because we need to cross this candle. So that would be 1%. That would be about 2%. Um, so yeah, uh, we could come down to the 4 hour 50. Even, even the 4 hour 50. Get a wick down there, still make a higher low. And then we'll come back to it. Okay, so let's go to the 8-hour. Eight 8-hour eight just entered the bullish control zone. Trying to stay in it. Now, if we get rejected from here and break this last low, that won't look good. Especially if we cross this signal line to the downside. You need to get back below 17,165 in order to cross that signal line to the downside. MACD. Okay. Positive momentum is pretty stable. Not really anything to be excited about, but it is starting to print dark green bars again. So we'll find out uh, what happens next. BBWP is turning around, uh, leaving the 10 percentile. Here comes the move. Like I just said, here comes the move. Let's go to the daily real quick. Daily's getting out of the bearish control zone. Getting above that neutral median line. You are above your signal line. MACD strong upside curvature. Positive momentum is increasing. BBWP. Moving averages uh turning around. BBWP's turning around. I mean, here comes the move. I mean, we're either we're either going to uh you know mid 18s, possibly at the top of this candle, you know, 18500, or we gotta back down to the bottom of the range, and this was a bull trap. We're about to find out. Once again, bullish bearish cases. Bearish cases that we break the 117k. All right, I would expect this to go to the bottom of the range at about 15.5. Bullish case is that we break 17400, maybe even 17350 on a four-hour closure, but on a one-hour closure, I'd like to see 17400. If you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. One being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading, crypto, investing, markets. Anything to do with trading and markets, we talk about it. We share our strategies. We share our trades. Definitely join the Discord. Uh, another thing is we have events every Sunday at 7 p.m. EST. Definitely show up. Uh, there's a lot of good value in it. So... Let's go over here and talk about 17K, which is the top of this order block, basically. Well, it's about the middle. It's about the middle of this order block. And this VPVR level is at 17K. All right, so uh, that coincides with, you know, that level that we need to stay above. So, yeah, I mean, if we start breaking down, by the way, Bollinger Band will probably be up to that 17k mark by the time we could get down there. But we'll find out because if so, you know, we're going to make a uh, lower low. But like I said, it could be a fake out. It could be a fake out. Also, we could come down to the 21 at 17,197. 
region. All right, so let's move on to Ethereum. Ethereum still in our red box. Bitcoin continues to break out. Probably going to go to the top at 1320. Multi-moving average crossover. Bear, bullish control zone, but looks like you're getting out of it. Um, and you came back up for a retest. Ethereum's momentum is starting to turn around to be bearish. Positive momentum on the histogram is decreasing. MACD line is coming down for either a retest or a crossover. If that thing crosses over, as the BBWP turns around, as the RSI gets out of the bullish control zone with some follow through, that's not going to look good. I mean, we could come down to the 50 and the 100 if, at that point at about 12.75 uh, in the POC. Point of control at 12.72 well, here on the VPVR. Uh, so bullish case is that you break the last high, 13.02. 1320 is next stop. You break 1320. 1400 is the next stop. Bearish case. So that you break this last low and the 100 and the POC point of control. It's 1272. Uh, <clears throat> and I would expect small bounce at these last wick lows and the 200 at 1250. Then back down to 1220 if we break 1220 1080 is the next stop then 1000 then we'll come back to it because that means shit hit the fan all right so let's move on to solana solana pretty clear cut we're at the top of the range um getting rejected from this vpvr level right on the dot momentum oscillators leaving that bullish control zone getting that retest and resumption down if we break this last low in the rsi that's going to be some follow-through that's not going to look good macd all these uh momentum oscillators are starting to turn down a little bit so i'm starting to think we could get a pullback uh now whether we get a resumption up that's another story we're going to find out whether this is a bull trap or a retest and resumption. BBWP is losing its downside curvature, but we need to see that thing turn back around in order for this volatility to continue. Now, do we come back down to the 21 and get us one last little liquidity grab at 1387, 1388? And basically wick down, maybe get a higher low. We have made a lower high, uh, but... Like I said, well, a lot of this is going to depend on Bitcoin does bullish cases that you break 14.13 on a one-hour closure. Bearish cases that you break 21 at 13.86 and this last wick low at 13.84. If that happens, I would expect bounces at each one of these moving averages. Ultimately, I think we'd come back down to 13.38 region. And that's about it. If you guys like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if you like these videos more. Uh, you know, whether, uh, yeah, just how I can improve. Turn on those bell notifications so you get notified with this time-sensitive content. And I wish everyone well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.